so it's finally happening, or at least it seems to be by uh, all pretty much indications, really, that GameStop is going to finally be falling apart very soon. Now, while you can't really, I guess, put an exact date on when this is gonna happen, GameStop is pretty much circling the drain. It has been for a few years, but a few recent events have kind of uh, sped that process up a little bit, and if anything, are pretty much showing the warning signs that there's not much that can really save GameStop altogether. I don't know how many of you actually shop at GameStop, but I don't. I don't go to GameStop ever, if I, I, I mean, if I have to, I guess, but when it comes down to it, with the emergence of being able to buy video games digitally, being able to order products like headsets and controllers and things like that online, much of the time really just cheaper than you can get at a GameStop, I have seen my need to actually go into a GameStop pretty much dwindle over the last few years. Now, when I was a kid, we always went to GameStop when I needed something, if I was getting a new video game, if I was getting a new console, controller, things like that, GameStop was pretty much the one place you really would go. But as time has gone on, it just, it's not the case anymore. Anymore. I don't know if this is something that you're personally kind of dealing with, but it's just, it's not looking good for GameStop altogether. Keep in mind, my whole career pretty much is based around video games and things that, you know, GameStop should be able to cater to. And GameStop, as a company, can no longer actually market to me, which is a bad thing. Because if more and more people like me, who obviously play a lot of video games, have careers based on video games and the internet, things like that, if they're not able to market to us, if they're not able to get us to go into their store, there's no way that the company can continue really to survive. So GameStop has seen a bunch of problems, really in the the last six months that just are showing pretty much all warning signs. This ship is sinking fast, there isn't any way really that they can get this thing you know, going again. The reality of it is that GameStop has become outdated, and then on top of that, the business practices and everything about the store have just completely gotten to the point that people don't like GameStop. People don't want to go to GameStop. Now, if you live in a decently sized city, okay, if you have a GameStop, honestly, you probably have a Walmart, and you probably have a Best Buy or a Target, so there are other places that you can go physically get games and accessories for your games and things like that. And the thing about this is that when you go to these places, oftentimes you don't have to worry about being harassed by the employees. And really, we all know it's not the employee's fault, but GameStop's policies of cracking on employees and making them sell the just most extreme amount of shit. We know how toxic that's been. We know how much pressure is put on the employee to sell, sell, sell. GameStop has a lot of scummy business practices, the management doesn't really seem to care about the customer experience all that much, and they definitely don't care about employee happiness. And especially if you're a brick and mortar store like GameStop, these are important factors. You need to keep employees happy, you need to keep customers happy and wanting to come back to your store, while at the same time maintaining a huge profit margin. That is, after all, the goal of a business, but GameStop is not doing so well in most of those, if any of those categories at all. They are estimated to lose a significant chunk of their revenue this year. Obviously, the employees are not very happy because of the policies, and like many of you can agree, you know, they're just, they're horrible with customer experiences. But GameStop and the management behind it, who are running the company, were actually trying to find a way out of this bad situation that they're in. They tried to sell the company, they tried to find somebody to buy it, and, you know, try to turn it around. And for a minute, it looked like they had some buyers lined up, but after negotiations and and talks and things like that, they have announced that they're not being bought out and that they're pretty much giving up on it, at least for now. So, that isn't good news. If GameStop was doing really good and they were making a just a ton of money and everyone was enjoying going to a GameStop, GameStop could be sold, but it just, I, I don't think it's gonna get sold. And if it is, I'm gonna be shocked because it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be a business that's gonna survive the next five years. Now, when they announced that they couldn't find a buyer for the company, their stocks dove over 25%, which is horrible, okay? That is bad. Obviously, you should not be investing in GameStop stocks at the moment. Now, this wouldn't be such a horrible thing for the company if, number one, they had a backup plan, and number two, they actually had solid leadership. They don't have either of those things. Now, when you're running a company, 
You definitely are going to need a plan. You need something that you can take action upon, especially if things, you know, don't go as planned, like obviously this whole buyout falling through. And you need solid leadership, not only to project confidence in your company, but also to make these crucial decisions that are going to influence the future of the company. GameStop, number one, does not have a clear-cut plan. They did actually sell a company that they owned, uh, what was, I think it's called something like Spring Wireless or something for like 700 plus million dollars, which is a pretty decent sale. That's immediate cash that they can use, but they don't have a clear-cut plan for that. They, they said that they're kind of weighing options that go from paying off debt to investing in different ways that they can expand their stores and possibly sell more products. So the fact that they have all this money just kind of sitting around, the ship is sinking quickly, and they have no plan whatsoever at this point is not good okay this company is falling apart fast people are buying their games digitally they're not walking into game stops anymore so th the fact that they don't know what they're going to do with this money right now doesn't look good for the company i mean the clock is ticking okay they don't have much longer they don't have time to sit around and, and detail this multiple month plan they're losing customers they're losing money they're losing any sort of influence that they had fast. Investors are obviously completely just just freaked out right now at the fact that the price of the stocks have collapsed. Everyone is bearish towards GameStop. The customers, the employees, investors, outside people. There's just, there's nothing going in GameStop's direction that is going to turn it around. And on top of that, they don't even have a permanent CEO at the moment. The CEO position at GameStop has been a very wishy-washy position over the last few years. The last permanent CEO, quote-unquote, that they had was only there for three months. He saw the writing on the wall, he saw that the company was going under, and he didn't want any part of it. So basically, GameStop is sitting in a boat, basically they're sitting in the Titanic. Ten feet of water are climbing every minute, they don't have any buckets, they don't have any life rafts, everyone's just sitting there waiting for the ship to finally cave under. Nobody has any confidence in GameStop right now. Not even the people running GameStop really have any confidence in the company right now. And let's be really honest here, okay? This is the reason why I don't go to GameStops anymore. I don't know, this probably is a pretty popular reason why most people aren't going to GameStops anymore. People are always talking about this kind of thing. But when you go into a GameStop, it's nothing like it used to be. I remember when I was a kid, you'd go into GameStop and the place was just an emporium of video games from all different kinds of machines and even a few few years ago like they had all kinds of stuff they even had like ds games game boy games they even still sold pc games but now all they really sell are like playstation 4 xbox one nintendo switch games and basically t-shirts and plushies. GameStop is no longer GameStop. GameStop has turned into gaming culture stop, which it makes sense that they're kind of pulling back on the games considering, you know, you can just kind of buy all these games online and that's kind of what the consumer is doing. Much more convenient, you can get it right away, you're paying the same price, and you don't have to deal with the over bearish bullshit that you have to deal with when you go into a GameStop. The truth is, is that when you walk inside the doors of a GameStop, it feels like you're borderline being assaulted by these by these people behind the desk. They're trying to sell you membership cards. They're trying to sell you pre-orders. They're trying to sell you used games. They're trying to sell you t-shirts. They're trying to sell you bullshit. You go in, you pick a game out, okay? Actually, you don't even get to pick a game out. You walk in the store, some guy comes from behind the desk, follows you around the store asking you if you want to pre-order this or if you want to buy that. And instead of going in there and feeling that feeling that you used to feel in a GameStop of just this sheer awesomeness of the games around you, basically when you walk in, it feels like they're just trying to swipe your credit card as much as they can through their machine to make the most money possible, which is not a good way to treat your customers. It's not a way to get me to want to come back. And another thing that has kind of pissed me off really about GameStop and has caused me to stop going there in recent years is the whole retro game situation, okay? I Obviously, retro games are extremely popular. Nostalgia in the gaming industry sells crazy amounts of titles. The age of the remastered game is here. You know, the last three years, we've seen pretty much every game ever remastered or an HD remake, something, right? Call of Duty, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Mario, Zelda, all these different games have had some sort of remakes. There's whole consoles coming out at this point that are literally just being remade with classic games. You know, we've had the PlayStation Classic, which is a piece of garbage NES, SNES classics. I'm sure eventually we'll get the PS2 classic and we'll probably get a GameCube and an N64 and all these different things. It's it just, it's inevitable because these things sell ridiculously, okay? People love playing these old games, but the thing about GameStop is that they barely sell any of it, okay? They don't sell GameCube games anymore, like my personal experience here. I buy a lot of retro games. I have a PlayStation 2. I have a GameCube. I'm trying to expand my catalog of consoles and games from retro eras and things like that, things I played in my childhood 
childhood. When I go into GameStop, I see a lot of re just retro merchandise. I see a lot of Legend of Zelda merchandise and things like that, plushies, all kinds of stuff. Great, right? But there isn't any GameCube games. There isn't any PlayStation 2 games. There's no NES games unless you're buying a classic throwback console. They don't sell any of that kind of stuff. So for whatever reason, even though nostalgia and retro has become massive in the last few years, GameStop has decided instead that they're going to shutter this market. And I don't really understand it. Doesn't really make much sense to me, honestly, but I don't know how it is in your town, but here in my city, we have two uh, mom and pop game stores, actually. Not only do these places often have new games, one of them has new games on day one, but the other one that I go to, usually they get them after about a week when people come and trade them in. They're cheaper than GameStop. These people don't try to sell you a bunch of bullshit that they know you don't want. They don't have all these stupid policies. It's not just an invasion, basically, when you walk in. The place I go to is a retro haven. They've got pretty much every PS2 game. They have literally almost every console ever made in the store to buy. They have all the accessories for them. They have all the greatest games. I walked in a couple weeks ago, bought a GameCube, the controller, the card, Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Pikmin right off of the shelf. And I sat there for 15 minutes and I talked to the people about the GameCube and all these other consoles and stuff that I was interested in and how much I like the store. And on top of that, in the back, they literally have a massive arcade. There's just an entire arcade full of different games, pinball machines, NBA Jam, pretty much any Nintendo game that they ever made any sort of arcade cabinet for. They've got every fighting game I think I've ever seen or played. GameStop isn't that place anymore where you can go in there and get these things and you can get out. It's, it's a horrible place that I hate going to that I only go to if it's a last resort. And the fine game of capitalism is pretty good at making sure that the worst experiences or the worst products get weeded out pretty easily by the competition. They're no longer really is a direct need for a GameStop, okay? And the writing is on the wall. I don't give the company much longer. With the way everything's going, with the way everything has been going for a few years now, if the company survives probably into the mid-2020s, I would be completely floored. I would not be surprised if probably in the next year we see them start to sell off just massive amounts of whatever they can, closing down stores, selling the company up for literally whatever they can so everyone can get their golden parachute and get the hell out. But yeah, GameStop, it, it, it's inevitable, okay? Their demise is imminent. And you know what? Honestly, I hate to say it because I know a lot of people are going to lose their jobs and those people don't deserve what's happening to them because really it's not the employee's fault the way that the company has kind of led itself in the last few years. But I hate GameStop. I hate the company in general, okay? Just their business policies and everything. I wish the best for the employees who are inevitably going to lose their jobs, but GameStop is getting replaced. I, I hate to tell you that, but it's the truth. The writing is on the wall. It's just about over with. GameStop is quite literally at their end game, okay? They're pretty much facing their final boss, which right now is kicking the shit out of them, so. GameStop's gonna have to pull some miracles to make a comeback. Their stock price could rise back up again if they find some way to kind of generate a plan that makes them a little bit of immediate progress. But in the long run, they're just not gonna compete with the internet. They're not gonna gain their customers back with their current business practices. I just, I, I, GameStop can't really keep going in the current condition that it's in. And I just don't think that the management is, you know, smart enough really to kind of build this thing back together. I think at this point, they've kind of done too much damage to their own reputation, to their, I guess, share of the market. It just, I don't see it happening for them. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like as always. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates there. Join the Discord down below. Lots of great things going on there and thank you to my channel members for your five dollars a month your support helps my channel tremendously if you'd like to help support my future content you can do so by hitting the join button down below for some exclusive perks and until my next video guys this is optimus looking for a potential buyer and signing out